During the 7th International Widows' Day celebrations held in Siaya County, where statistics show has the highest number of widows, many are said to lack a fallback plan after their husbands' deaths. Siaya County has a large number of widows for two reasons. One is the HIV pandemic. We are dealing with a generation of women who lost their husbands in the 80s and 90s and now are living with a virus. So they are living with a virus through another virus. Kwa hivyo unakuta tulikuwa na magari ilichukuliwa. Wengine walikuwa na mashamba hata shamba zingine ni kiasi kidogo mpaka unashindwa mtu anafukuzwa wachukue ni. The widows charter incorporating views of over 8000 widows calls on county governments to adopt into law and implement the charter to legislate a widows protection bill that will make the violation of widows rights unlawful and it took us 10 years to take the painful widow stories make them into scientific evidence that are believable and to make them into policy statement The charter also calls for establishment of the Office of Widowed Persons within the Department of Gender and Social Protection to address policies, strategies and implementation mechanisms including frameworks and formulated schemes to enable widows access resources. We must make sure that a widow is in the same place with the husband. And when the husband dies, the widow should be fully in charge of that family and all the property and the land i think we can make the law better come together widows and orphans organization led by its founder diana kamande said pursuing justice has been a major challenge to widows especially those who are already victims of gender based violence since it requires more funding for the justice process i'm happy to confirm to you that i've built for each of them a modest dwelling a modest improvement of their dwellings from a grass thatched house to a proper semi permanent iron roof house The 2019 census confirmed that there are over 1 million widows living in Kenya and the number is expected to be on the rise due to challenges such as COVID-19 and increasing incidences of accidents During the event, 30 million Kenya shillings kitty was unveiled to spark growth of small businesses run by widows and enable them to venture into new income generating activities including fish caging, poultry farming and table banking. Robbie Omondi K24